Hey guys, so today I am making a whole bunch of meatballs with the ground beef that I got from Costco. I'm not baking them today. I'm actually just going to make them, form them, and then I want to freeze them and put them in Ziplocs for various dinners for our future. So let's get that started. So that was seven pounds of meat, and I don't have a bowl big enough, so I try to evenly separate it um so now i'm going to add some eggs so this is about what three pounds and a half uh, for each of them so i'm probably going to do like three eggs i like to do about one egg per pound sometimes i have two pounds and i still do one egg or one and a half pounds and i do one egg but i'm gonna do three eggs in each so my three eggs are in there. Now I'm going to put some salt, about a teaspoon, maybe a little more, teaspoon and a half. Okay, and I don't have breadcrumbs, so I'm just going to use whatever bread I have on hand. So I have some hamburger buns, but no hamburgers. So I'm gonna use those up because we've had hamburgers quite a bit recently, so I'm probably not gonna make any anytime soon. So let me use these up and get those in there. So I put three burger buns in each. So that's about one bun per pound. And then I like to add some flaxseed because flaxseed adds fiber and omega-3s. So that's about two tablespoons and two tablespoons. Sneak that into the boys' diets. And they never know. I've been doing it for years. And then something else I'm gonna sneak in. This time, instead of regular milk, I'm putting oat milk. So this is the Costco brand um, oat milk that has I think it's full fat oat milk or something like that. Um, bought a whole bunch for when my cousin came over because that's what she drinks. She's dairy free. So I'm stuck with a whole bunch of oat milk. And though I do like putting it in smoothies, I definitely don't drink a lot of smoothies um, enough to use up all of this oat milk. Um, I also snuck it into John's... Um, Overnight oats. He has no idea. When you have all sorts of this stuff going on, you don't know. And plus, all these meatballs, I'm going to be doing different things. So one night will be, you know, meatballs and spaghetti with the marinara sauce. Another night will be with the Epicure honey garlic on rice. Another night will be the beef stroganoff on the um, egg noodles. So at least that's like three dinners right there that I'm going to do with all these meatballs. And of course, with the meatballs marinara, the boys would like to make meatball parm heroes one day on the ciabatta. So the meatballs will go a long way in this house. So the milk gets absorbed into the bread, and it actually keeps the meatballs more tender on the inside. Um, so uh, I think I might need more milk, but I'm going to start uh, mixing these up with my hands. So those mixed up nicely. Uh, normally I add Italian seasoning to this, but because I'm going to be doing these with so many different dishes, I'm not adding any season to, seasoning to them. They're just plain. Breadcrumbs, eggs, milk, flaxseed, salt, and beef. So I'm going to, I did not need to add any more oat milk to it. They were plenty moist. Um, so I'm going to get my sheet pan. I make a whole bunch ah! yep. I make a whole bunch of meatballs and stick them in the freezer. So there they are. It almost made two full trays. I'm five meatballs short. Those meatballs I did were about an inch and a half. I was thinking about doing them smaller, but inch and a half is good for any dish that we're doing. So I'm gonna stick them in the freezer. And, and when they're frozen, I'm going to put them in freezer Ziplocs and separate them per meal. And then I have meatballs ready for the rest of the week or whenever when I want to do a meatball dish. So that takes out a lot of time from preparing a meal. So here the meatballs are frozen and I put them in Ziplocs. 
and I have them in the freezer. So uh, I only had three Ziplocs left, so I have to go get more Ziplocs. So these aren't per dinner. So they're separated since I froze them on the tray separate, and I could just take out as many as I need for each dinner. So first dinner I'm making with the meatballs is spaghetti and meatballs. I have my cans of crushed fire roasted tomatoes out. Um, got the oven going to 375 and I'm gonna bake them. I know some uh, people like to put their meatballs in the sauce to cook, uh, but I don't want the fat in there. So at least when I bake them, it removes the fat. So that's what's for dinner tonight spaghettis and meatballs so to get the sauce going while the meatballs are cooking i have some garlic i have some onion some garlic olive oil and two cans of the crushed fire roasted tomatoes so i'm gonna mince these really nicely um the onions will stay a little bit of chunky and i'm gonna get the fire going a little bit of olive oil and then we'll saute the garlic and the onions first so the onions and garlic are starting to cook up I'm gonna put a little pinch of pink Himalayan sea salt so they could start sweating their liquids out get nice and translucent mmm that smells yummy already Mm, so those look and smell delicious. So today we are going to make it with some red wine. I made a marinara sauce with some red wine years ago. And I remember my mother-in-law actually can tell that it, it just had a richer flavor to it. And it was funny because me and my son Michael made it. And we followed some recipe. I don't remember whose. Um, but then recently, we, me and John went to a winery, and the woman was talking about red wine in sauce, spaghetti sauce. So I was like, you know what? I hadn't done that in such a long time. So, you know, just like Rachel Ray always says, and a lot of the other chefs on the Food Network, uh, if you like drinking it, that's what you put in the food. You won't put one that you don't like to drink in the food, because then you'll taste it. And if you didn't like it, to drink it straight up, you might not like it in the food. So this is a favorite one that I like, Phantom. I have no idea what's in it. Um, I know it's a blend of three uh, reds and I think uh, one of them is Shiraz, but it doesn't even say it on the back of the bottle. Anyway, this is my favorite. So I'm going to put a little, a little splash. I don't want it to be too strong. And then the boys don't like it. So we're going to cook the alcohol off. See? Put a nice splash. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It smells so good. So let that cook a little bit and then I add the tomatoes. They're on standby. Okay, that's good. Now let's add the sauce. Ooh. There we go. And the other one. Ooh. All over the black backsplash. There we go. Ooh. So let's see how this is going to come out. So now I'm gonna let it simmer. I'm gonna add some basil. I have dried basil. Um, and let it simmer for a while. And then when the meatballs are ready, I throw those in. Let me cover it a little bit. Clean up my stove. And let it sit. I want it to sit for at least a good hour. I like when it sits for two hours when it simmers but I actually don't have two hours. So I do have one hour. So I'm gonna let it cook with the meatballs for about a one hour. Let's add some basil. Okay. Smells so good. Mm, it does. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. And then meatballs, a little darker, and then in the sauce they go. Okay, so those are good. I'm going to put them in the sauce and let them continue to cook and get tender while the sauce concentrates. So that's all of them. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that's hot. Mmm, look at that. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yum, yum, yum. So, let's cover it. I like leaving it open a crack so more moisture could come out. And it's going to simmer there for the next 30 minutes until 6 p.m. And then we'll have dinner. I got the water getting hot so that I can cook the spaghetti. I got the Seco. Yep. And that's dinner. I think I'm going to do a Caesar salad with it. So I made a Caesar salad. I used the Marzetti's Simply Dressed it's in the refrigerated section of a supermarket. Um, I have some Pecorino Romano on top with some croutons. And then look at this gorgeous thing. Ooh, sauce thickened. Oops, did I just break a meatball? I want to get some sauce. Throw it in the spaghetti so the spaghetti doesn't stick. Yeah. So see how easy that was? Oops. Simple ingredients. Not even that many. Ooh, I gotta taste that sauce to see if I could tell the difference with the splash of red wine if I needed to put extra. All right, I'm gonna make a mess, so I'm gonna toss that with some sauce and then I can plate it up. And there it is plated up. Oh, smells so good. I tasted the sauce. Let me taste it again, because I, I don't think I put a lot, so I don't really taste a difference. Yeah, probably needs a little more wine um, to really taste a difference, but it's still good. I'll play with that with the next time. Um, so yeah, that is dinner number one. Hey guys, so the second dinner for this meatball mania, um, I was gonna do honey, honey garlic um, meatballs from Epicure, but I realize I don't have any. <laughs> I looked at all my Epicure packets. Look at all these dinners I have to make. Um, uh, these enchiladas, the bean ones were so good. I got to do that soon too. But I thought I had a honey garlic meatballs and I don't. I have two sweet garlic chicken. So I was looking at the ingredients and it's cane sugar, garlic, onion, sea salt, chives, paprika, and white pepper. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make these meatballs and then I'm going to make this into a sauce because this was like sprinkled on everything, but I'm going to make it to like a sauce. I'm going to uh, put it in water and um, some cornstarch, make a sauce to uh, coat the meatballs and then I'm going to make that with the white rice. So that's dinner number two for the meatballs. So I have 20 meatballs here and I'm heating my oven up to 400 so I'm going to cook those up so I still have more. I still have another bag in the back see so I made a lot of meatballs with that Costco meat which I got to do again because it's so much fun and then I'll put that together. Meatballs are almost done. They're browning up nicely so I have my pot here. I have two cups of water. We're gonna give this a try, sorry. Two cups of water. I actually have some peas in there. So I thought it was completely taping and it wasn't. So 
I added the seasoning packet to the two cups of water. I added a big heaping spoonful. Where's my spoon? Ugh, it's in the sink. Of cornstarch, and I stirred it up, and it smells good. And now I have the heat on, so I'm just waiting for it to thicken. Um, I will continue to, let's see, I guess whisk it. Whisk it. So it doesn't get lumpy. Let that thicken, and then I'll throw the meatballs in. I really hope it goes well with these meatballs. It should. Garlic, honey, you know. Um, this had cane sugar, so that replaces honey. I could throw some honey in there. It's all good. All right, so let that thicken up, and then I'll add the meatballs. All right, so remembering what the honey garlic packet asks for, it does ask for some soy sauce. So I'm gonna put some tamari. That'll give it more of a Asian flavor. And it is salty, so you're adding salt to it. So, oh look, see, look at that, it's thickening up. Um, yeah, so I'll taste it afterward and see if it needs more. Ooh, look at that steam. So look at this. The sauce thickened up. Meatballs are ready. So I'm gonna throw them in. Ugh. They're sticking to my pan. Well, one of them did. Okay. Let's throw them in. There we go. Twenty meatballs. Excited to try this. Okay. My peas are in the microwave. The rice is ready. There we go. Oops. Stir these up. All right, not bad. That was a nice save. So let these simmer, and then I'll plate it up. And there it is plated. Look at that. I put some green scallions on top, and it actually came out really good. Uh, definitely works well with meatballs. So that's meatball mania dinner number two. Hey guys, so this is dinner number three for the meatballs. So I still have more meatballs left. Probably gonna still have enough for maybe the fourth dinner. Not sure. But tonight we are doing the Swedish meatballs. And instead of the egg noodles, I did baked potatoes. So I had my oven heated to 400. I washed those. I coated them with oil, put some sea salt on it, and baked them for one hour. I have a couple of sweet potatoes too. So that's the side dish. And now we're going to throw the meatballs in for, I think they'll be ready in about 20 minutes. Also at 400. So in the oven they go till they're golden brown and I have enough meatballs left for another dinner. So Meatball Mania continues to a fourth dinner. I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on that one. In the meantime, got some onion here. Just going to dice up some onions to make the brown gravy. Okay. Got my cast iron hot. Some oil. That's garlic oil, my little squeezy thing. Diced up some onions. Got the sizzle. And let them cook. And then we'll add that later. 
and we'll add some salt, a little pinch. And let them cook up. Okay, they're getting cooked. I'm gonna, a lot of times I use, I make a slurry. This time I'm just gonna add in the cornstarch, like the flour. Cook it up a little bit. And then I have some water here. So it's like a deconstructed slurry. That was two cups of water. And that'll thicken up, but we're gonna add the beef broth. Okay. So that'll melt, and this becomes a beef broth that turns into a gravy. Okay, it's getting thicker. The meatballs are almost ready. I hope that's enough sauce. Because I do have 20 meatballs. But we're not coating it with pasta, so it should be fine. So I have some peas micro steaming. Meatballs are good. I'm going to throw them in the sauce, the gravy. Shred some cheese. Get the butter ready. And dinner is ready. So this is plenty of sauce for 20 meatballs. Yep, so let that simmer a little bit, and I'll shred cheese. The boys love their baked potatoes with cheese on it. And then to the sauce, I add some sour cream. And it thickened up pretty nicely. Lower the heat. See if that's enough. Ooh, look at that. Nice. So it thickened up nicely. And now it's a little creamy with the sour cream. So I chopped up some chives. And for the cheese, I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's Unexpected Cheddar. So good, it's a combination of cheddar and Parmesan. So that's gonna be really good on the potatoes. So that's the Unexpected Cheddar. I grated the whole thing, because I'll put it in a little container that we could use for other things. My chives, that's ready. And potatoes are ready. Got my butter out and hot peas with butter. We're ready to serve. And there it is, plated up. I got the unexpected cheddar and some chives and butter on the potatoes. I did make sweet potatoes, but I'm gonna eat that. I wanted to eat those for like um, something else, you know. I wanted them ha to have them readily available. So I threw those in the oven, but tonight I'm having the regular potato. And there's the Swedish meatballs and peas. And see you in the next dinner. So the last dinner for Meatball Mania, the boys chose cheeseburger mac and cheese with meatballs. Um, an oldie, but a favorite in this house. So gonna throw in the meatballs. I gotta boil the pasta. My oven set at 405, because it's been shutting off at 400. And that's it. So I have my cheeses. My pasta has finished boiling, so I have to drain that. Meatballs are ready. 
and I got some peas with butter. Put some butter. Some flour. Let it cook down. Now we add milk. Break up all the roux so it's not lumpy. And let the milk thicken. that it's a little thicker but I'm gonna start adding the cheeses I shredded some more cheddar but I had this is unexpected cheddar so it's a mixture of cheddar and parm this one is pecorino some leftover and then some more cheddar pull that up first can add some of the stuff that I freshly grated. Lower the heat. Let that all melt. There you go. I haven't made mac and cheese for the boys for a while now that it's been hot. But there you go. Cheese sauce. Ooh. And if it gets too thick, I'll just loosen it with some more milk. But it looks good. Let me add the pasta. There's my pasta. Ooh. Look at that. Comfort food. There go. And then I'll add the meatballs. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Gonna attempt to toss this. Ugh, I'm gonna need two hands. All right, so now it's all tossed. My peas have butter in them, so they might be a little on the cold side right now. But that's dinner ready to be plated up. And there it is, dinner number four for Meatball Mania. That was a lot of meatballs. So basically for each dinner I made 20 to 25 meatballs and there was four of them. So that means that big thing of ground beef from Costco made over 100 meatballs. And I did it all in one day and froze them and it came out to four dinners for this family. So I hope you enjoyed that little adventure, and I'll see you in the next video.